नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल बीट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी हैव बीन सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आई सर अप टू टेस्ट ट्वेंटी एटीन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द सेकेंड लास्ट एम सी क्यू दैट इज एम सी क्यू नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन बेस्ड ऑन ग्रेविटेशन द प्रॉब्लम रीड्स अ प्लानट ऑफ मास एम मूव्स इन एन एलिप्टिकल पाथ अराउंड द सन विच इज एट वन ऑफ द फोकाय ऑफ द एलिप्स Uh, so that its maximum and minimum distances from the sun are r max and r min respectively taking the gravitational constant to be g and the mass of the sun to be ms what is the angular momentum of the planet relative to the center of the sun and we have got uh, four options with us note that in all four options we see no dependence on time or position right why is that because if you take a look at all the four options r max and r min which indicate the least and the or well the maximum and the minimum distance of the earth from the sun respectively so that is not going to change with time same things with uh, the mass of the sun and mass of the earth m ms and uh, well capital ms and small m yes and uh, well acceleration well not acceleration the universal constant of gravitation capital g that is also a constant so by just having a look at these options we can easily conclude that angular momentum is a constant we still don't know what that is but from the options we can definitely conclude that angular momentum is constant because it doesn't change with time and also it doesn't change with position okay and that is indeed true that is a fundamental result in newtonian mechanics that under a central force under a central force angular momentum is conserved and is gravitational force a central force yes because it always uh, is directed along a line joining the object and well joining the two objects right the sun and the earth in this case so it is a central force <coughs> now we would like to develop a formula for this angular momentum and uh, clearly from the options uh, what we will need is angular momentum magnitudes for the maximum and the minimum uh, positions right so now let's well, let's consider the figure here let's consider the figure in which the pink colored ellipse represents the elliptical orbit and uh, the sun is at one of the foci and uh, this is r min the least distance between sun and the earth and this is r max and these two positions are called perihelion and aphelion respectively okay so for uh, analysis i'm going to call the aphelion position as 1 or the max one and the perihelion position as 2 or the min okay fine so uh, first of all because the angular momentum is conserved we can say m v1 r1 is equal to mv2 r2 correct mv1 r1 is equal to mv2 r2 or we can say v1 by v2 is equal to r2 by r okay so that's what we'll get from angular momentum conservation next there are no dissipative forces in the system so energy is also conserved so what does energy balance give us energy balance gives kinetic energy at the aphelion position half mv1 square plus potential energy which is negative g capital m small m by r1 so again here i'm calling the mass of the sun as capital m okay i hope you will understand that is equal to half mv2 square minus g mm upon r2 this is energy balance right now we will try to simplify things okay uh half m let's take uh, kinetic energy is on one side so v1 squared minus v2 squared is equal to g mm into bracket now this is negative 1 upon r1 so that will become positive 1 upon r1 and then this negative 1 upon r2 is there. right we can cancel m now we can cancel m and uh let me okay let me Keep it here. Squared minus v two squared, and let's uh, 
do this so it will be gm into r2 minus r1 upon r1 naught right r2 minus r1 upon r1 naught now let us shift r1 r2 to lhs which will give us half r1 r2 into v1 squared minus v2 squared is equal to gm into r2 minus r now comes the main step what's the main step the main step is multiplying multiplying both sides by what so we will multiply both sides by m squared r1 r2 now this multiplication is deliberate okay this multiplication is deliberate and why we are doing that we will come to know in our subsequent steps okay so let's do that half m squared this lhs already has r1 r2 so if you multiply it again by r1 r2 it will become r1 squared r2 squared v1 squared minus v2 squared is equal to uh, gm gm m squared uh right gm m squared r1 r2 r1 r2 into bracket r2 minus r correct uh okay let me check it again gm is there m squared yes r1 r2 okay that's right now what can we do for uh, lhs therefore half and two. observe that m squared r1 squared v1 squared is l squared right and m squared r2 squared v2 squared that is also l squared because angular momentum is going to get conserved right so this l squared thing we can take common which leaves us with what this will leave us with okay so for the first observe carefully now we have taken m r1 and v1 so r2 is remaining so r2 squared will be there from the second one we have taken m r2 and v2 so r1 is remaining okay so in order to get rid of the velocity things we multiplied by m squared r1 and r2 because now we know that angular momentum is conserved and that's what we want that is what we want okay rhs won't change it will remain as it is r2 minus r1 okay finally we can talk about l squared g m m squared r1 r2 r2 minus r1 upon okay so this 2 comes here r2 squared minus r1 squared okay so what will ang angular momentum l be angular momentum l will be root of 2 g m m squared r1 r2 now this is a minus b in the denominator we have a squared minus b squared so a plus b will remain so r2 plus r1 will be there okay so this is the answer that we have got let's go back to the options and see tally this with our uh, options okay uh, options a and uh, options a and c are not right because g is outside the root there okay so it is either b or d d is not right because this has a negative sign here this is positive sign so what is the correct option the correct option is b 2g ms m squared 2g m m squared r max r min well r1 r2 upon r max plus r min r1 plus r yes so correct option is b right the correct option is b now one thing even if you did not know that angular momentum is conserved in this in the case of center force that's fine because options themselves are going to tell you that there is no variation of angular momentum with either space or with time right angular momentum doesn't change with space and time which will lead to the conclusion that angular momentum is constant okay and then everything will follow of course we have used energy conservation we know that so that is question number 59 in our next video we will go to the last mcq from 2018 physics